What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville here with another video. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Joy Neville. I lost over 132 pounds. I think currently today I'm at 135. Um, and that's just actually um, now my current lowest weight because of you guys. I'm doing YouTube videos and it's actually inspiring me at the same time to do it with you guys even more so instead of maintaining to keep going on my journey to keep toning up losing weight getting healthy and I wanted to come on here and address a couple things somebody asked me a question the other day and said do I ever get tired of just eating healthy do I ever get burnt out um, lose track, fall off the wagon, and yes, I do. And so I thought about that, and it's like that's something I want to talk about. I think it's really important. I think it's important that we know that when you go into this, it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change. You have to change your whole lifestyle. And I know that sounds like a lot like real deep, like, whoa, Joy, don't get too deep on me now, but it's not. However, you do have to change your lifestyle because people aren't going to change around you. You have to change. And I live with my husband and my sons, my older sons, they're grown, and sometimes my grandbabies and my daughter-in-law are over, um... Everybody likes to eat and snack and have goodies, and that's fine, and I got to work around that because I know that I'm only five foot tall and getting close to 300 pounds was not okay for me, and I know if I fall off the wagon for too long or I eat and snack along with my friends and family for too long, that's it, and so... Yes, I do fall off the wagon. Yes, I do get tired of my lifestyle. But I just put myself back on track. Um, the first thing I want to say, the most important thing, is that you remember you're doing this for yourself. You're doing this because you love yourself. You want to get healthy for yourself. You want to look good for yourself. You want to fit in those jeans. You want to wear that swimsuit for summer. You want to be able to walk to the park. You want to be able to walk to the store without being winded. Walk up a hill with your kids or your friends without being winded. You're doing this for yourself. And that's first and foremost. So now that I got that clear, let's talk about falling off the wagon. I've been doing this three years as of February 14th, and I have fallen off the wagon every year, probably three, four, five times. Um, recently, in fact, this year, we have COVID-19 currently, and I did fall off the wagon a couple times, and usually it takes me a few days, maybe a week, to realize, whoa, what are you doing? Stop, just stop, just stop right now, put it up, you know, start logging back in your My Fitness Pal. Because when you guys see me log in My Fitness Pal, Joy's doing what she's supposed to be doing. If you don't see me in My Fitness Pal, Joy is not doing what she's supposed to be doing, and someone needs to call me out. Hold me accountable too. So if I'm in that fitness pal, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm logging my calories. I'm logging everything that goes in this mouth. If you don't see me in there for a couple of days, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's be real. And I don't want that life. I want a healthy life. I want to feel good. I don't want diabetes. I don't want high blood pressure. I don't want to be winded walking up a hill or walking to the creek with my boys, my grandbabies, my husband. And so... Yeah, do I fall off track? Yes, for sure. I'm not perfect. None of us are. This is hard. It's not easy. It's not as hard as it looks, though. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. If I could do it, I was almost 300 pounds and I love food. You can do it. And I'm in a house with those cupboards back there full of goodies. They're full of goodies. And I still did it. So you can do it, too. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to inspire you. Do this with me. I'm still doing it.
I'm not there yet. I'm still, you know, curvy. And I, I like being curvy, but I want to be more thick. So I'm still going through this with you. Um, if you fall off track, you, you know, it's all right. It happens. If you fall off track for a few days, it's usually easy to get back on. If it's been two or three days, usually for me personally and for others that I've known that have tried this with me and are doing pretty good, like I said, I have a friend that lost over 100 pounds. I'm really proud of her. Her health is better. Her health was really bad. Her health is way better because of the weight loss. Super proud of her. I have another friend that's lost like 50, 60 pounds. Super proud of her. You can do it. And if you fall off track for a couple days, it's really easy to get back on. The problem is Thanksgiving, Christmas, those times of the year where you have Thanksgiving. First, you have Halloween. Let's talk about this. October 31st. Then you have Thanksgiving, November. Then you have Christmas, December. Then you have New Year's. And then everybody wants to start fresh because they, those four months or three months, October, November, and December, they pigged out. So that is the time I usually fall off track, if I'm being completely honest, and so do a lot of other people. And then they just give up. Don't give up. Even if it's for a week, two weeks, three months, like I, I've done it for three months before, falling off track. Get back on. You know, I like to say the scale doesn't define you, but the scale, like I've said in my other videos, motivates me. Um, if it's been a month, and I haven't logged in my fitness pal and nobody's calling me out because I'm kind of looking the same. I just get on the scale. And if that scale's up 8 pounds, 10 pounds, Joy, get your butt in the gear. What are you doing? If my jeans are fitting tight and I'm having to lay on the bed to zip them and before I could just stand up and pull them on and kind of shimmy into them, Joy, what are you doing? You know, if I'm putting my plate on the table and I'm ready to eat, and it's piled two feet high and there's not a vegetable or a fruit or clean protein on my plate. Joy, what are you doing? I just put myself in check. Like, do you want to do this? Are you happy? Are you happy laying on the bed to zip up into your jeans? Are you happy knowing you're putting all that weight back on that you worked so hard to lose? Look at old pictures. Take pictures as you lose weight and look back. Even if you only lost 10 pounds and you're only that far in, that's okay. That's a lot. That's great. Look at your picture from when you started and look at your picture 10 pounds later and remind yourself, I don't want to go backward. I want to go forward. You can still do it. Again, I've fallen off for three months and got back on the wagon. You can still do it. This is a lifestyle. You are going to be putting yourself on that wagon for the rest of your life because you're going to fall off. You're going to. It's just, it's a given. It gets less and less, I will say, over the years. You do get used to it, and it does get less and less, but you're going to fall off the wagon, and you just got to put your butt back on it and say, no, I came this far. I'm not going back, and that's just the truth. You have to hold yourself accountable. Love yourself. First, it's the mental, then it's the physical. Love yourself. Remind yourself, you know, remind yourself how far you've come. And that's what I do. When I fall off the wagon, I get on the scale. That's the first thing. And I'm like, okay, I'm up this many pounds. Joy, tomorrow morning, you're going to log in your fitness pal. You are going to meal prep all your meals for the week. Take pictures of all your meals. Tell everybody what you're eating and what you're cooking and what you're doing. You're going to make your husband work you out. You know, have your friends work out with you. Tell your, your people at work you're working out. That way you actually do at least work out a couple times a week. Motivate, motivate. That's what I try to do to myself. And it works. So that's why I'm trying to do it to you guys, for you guys. Motivate. And that's all it is. Do you fall off the wagon? Yes. Do you lose track of weight loss and go, oh, I, I don't want to do this anymore? Yeah. But trust me, if you've gone a good period of time and you really want this, you'll get back on the wagon. And the thing I used to do, you guys, is I would have a cheat. I would have a cheat day. We all call them cheat days. I would have a cheat day. And then I would go, oh, screw it. I ate a chocolate muffin. I might as well eat a burrito now, too. Oh, screw it. Now I ate the burrito. I might as well go buy a gallon of ice cream and eat that, too. Oh, screw it. Now I should eat some chips because... 
I'm just ruining my whole day anyway. And then I would eat the whole day when really, if I would have just had that chocolate muffin and cheated, it would not have made me gain weight. I could have just finished my day eating my meal prep and I would have been fine. Let's be real. But no, in my mind, I was like, oh, I ate the chocolate muffin. I ruined my whole day. It sucks. And now I might as well just eat whatever I want. And you shouldn't have that mindset. But if you do, fine. When you go to bed at night and you feel a little bit guilty, don't. Don't beat yourself up. Just say, you know what? It happens. It's going to happen 20 more times. Let me just wake up tomorrow and start fresh. And that's all you have to remember. Start fresh. Always start. Always start over. Don't give up. Always start over. That's my problem. I'll say, I'm going to do this diet. And I've done this many times in the past until this last three years. I actually stuck it out. But many times in the past, I'm going to do this diet. I'm going to work out. I'm going to be healthy. And I'd lose like 50, 60 pounds, 40 pounds, 30 pounds. And I'd be like, I'm done. And I would just stop and start eating. And then I would feel like, I want to go back. Oh God, I'm gaining weight. I want to go get back on track, get healthy, but I don't because I felt like, oh great, I gained 10, 15 pounds back. I ruined everything. It's like you could easily lose that 10 or 15 pounds in a couple of weeks. Some of it's probably water weight, a good five, 10 pounds of it, probably water weight, but we don't tell ourselves that in our head. We think we just ruined everything and we can't get back on track. And that's not the case. It's not the case. You just have to push yourself. What my key thing is, I like to do is go, okay, I'm going to start fresh tomorrow and from this day to this day. And I usually say it's, um, for instance, a Tuesday because maybe I had to cheat on a Monday. I cheated and I threw my whole day off track because that's how we think. So then I'm like, okay, on Tuesday, I'm starting fresh. I'm logging my fitness pal. I have my meal prep in the fridge. I'm going to eat it. Tuesday to Tuesday, I'm holding myself accountable. I don't care what I'm craving. I don't care what hormones are going through my body. I don't care who pissed me off, who stressed me out, who made me want to cry, what coronavirus is going on, what is going on. I'm going to eat healthy for these next seven days, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'll hold myself accountable Tuesday to Tuesday. I'll hold myself accountable. I won't have any treats. And then if I make it to that week, sometimes I'll be like, okay, now go have a meal with your family out to eat at a restaurant or something. Or, okay, I made it seven days. Let me have some froyo, or let me have like a treat that I wanted, you know, just whatever treat I wanted, a pineapple, who knows, <laughs> whatever I'm craving. I allow myself to have it if I'm pushing myself to get back on track and I need that as motivation. Sometimes it might be, let me go get my nails done to treat myself. Let me go get a t-shirt to treat myself for being good. That kind of thing. So just know you can always, always get back on track. It's not the end of the world. It's it's not a big deal. You can always get back on track and just motivate yourself. Tell everybody around you what you're doing and they'll motivate you too. I guarantee there's going to be someone that supports you. There's going to be a lot of haters that want to take you down. You look too skinny. I don't know why you're even bothering to do this. Don't even try. What if you get loose skin? Do you really want loose skin? Oh my God, I can't believe that. You're going to have to eat like just vegetables. You're never going to be able to eat and enjoy yourself again. You only live once. You might as well eat. Here's the key. They're saying that because they can't do it. So that's why they're telling you that. They can't do it. So they're telling you, you can't do it. And you know you can. You know you can do it. So just take those words of advice, please. Even if it's one little piece of what I said in the last 13 minutes, one little piece of advice, take it and run with it and you'll do good. I have faith in you. And don't forget, gallon of water. I drink a gallon of water every day. Start with water. If this is the only thing you want to start with, water, start it. Cut the soda and start drinking water. I bet you lose 10 pounds in two weeks if you drink water and you're cutting out your soda and you're a soda drinker. And if you have to have a soda, drink one maybe like sugar-free soda a day for your treat and drink water. Try it. You'll be impressed. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to put that little spiel on here to let you guys know what to do when you fall off track and know that you're not alone. We all do it. We're all human. The whole key is just to get back on the wagon. 
no matter how many months it is, you never throw away all your hope unless you never get back on because you're only going to gain more weight. You're only going to get less healthier. So if you just keep trying, you'll always be better. Just remember that. The more we try in life with anything, you'll get better. Anyways, love you, YouTube. I hope you like this video. I hope my videos are getting out there to people. I don't have social media yet. Um, but I do have YouTube, and I just started it. I'm a newbie, so watch my other videos. I have meal preps, what I eat in the days. I, have, I think I have an exercise video up. I don't know if I put one up yet. I think it was just a quick little thing. But I'm starting to put up more videos. Let me know what you want to see more of. I don't know what you guys like unless you like it. I have to see the like button so I can see what you guys are liking. Um, leave comments. Subscribe. If my subscribers go up, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm getting to you guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe right now. It takes two seconds. Come on. It's not going to hurt you. It's just going to motivate you. Love you, you too. Check me out in the next video. And remember, you can do it. Start today. Hit me up, my fitness pal. Bye, you two.